So I've been editing tutorials in DaVinci Resolve for the past four years, and nothing has been as much of a game changer for me in the edit page as Motion VFX. They offer hundreds of edit-friendly templates and effects that you can easily use on your projects, whether it's in DaVinci Resolve, FCPX, or Premiere Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you the ones that I use the most in my tutorials and also a little behind the scenes of my editing process. So let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and the first effect that I'm going to show you is a very simple zoom in. I don't usually keyframe these zoom ins. I usually put them on an adjustment clip and right here I'm using the MTuber for zoom. So it gives you a very nice smooth zoom in and zoom out. So if I go to the end of this adjustment clip, it zooms out very nicely. So I don't have to go into the individual clips and keyframe it that way. So it has a very smooth curve on its own. This effect is also somewhat inspired by MKBHD, which he uses a lot in his videos. So if you also want to know what's going on in this pile over here, this is usually the structure of my tutorial content, the video itself. So the first layer here is the filmic title, which is this title on my name. If I turn this off, so it's just my name overlaid on my face so that I somehow get to watermark it so people don't get to steal my content. And then we have the recording, which is on the ZVE one, and then the adjustment layer. So I also have a solid color here, which is to cover up the date of recording. So there's this junk up here, which I really cannot take. So it's a little bit of an OCD. So I use a gray solid to cover it up. And then of course, the last layer here is the screen recording itself. So this is usually what the tutorial content will look like. So the second effect that I like to use a lot since I got a whole of motion VFX is this square pop-up or what they call corner screen. So if I switch over to a reels here, let's say this. So what it's called is a corner screen. So if I go into effects, we have the MTuber tree corner screen 05. And the reason why I like this so much is because for tutorials, you either go for a square or a 16 by 9 box, which is taking up a lot of space, or you go for a circle, which I did last time. But if you're putting it in a circle, you're actually losing a lot of the face, so it doesn't fit very nicely. And I feel that this shape, which is a square with the rounded corners, is just the perfect shape for this kind of talking head. And since using this effect, I think it's something that I can't live without anymore because the alternatives are to go into your color page or your fusion page and manually draw a mask and then crop it up. And that's a lot of work. For this effect, I can just drag it into my clip and any of the adjustments that you want to make to your content. So this, it has an effect on it. Let me try to turn this off and move. So you can move the content left and right. And I can also move the media within the content left and right as well. So anything and everything over here is adjustable. So this is a reel that I released recently. And in this reel, of course, I use the corner screen to sort of isolate because if I don't use this corner screen, the talking head is going to be either very huge or I will have crop tops, which means that if I disable this for a minute, so let me duplicate this and then disable the two and remove the effect. So it's either I have this crop top and bottom or I zoom in all the way, which is huge if you're viewing it from a phone. So you're, my whole face is like two thirds of the phone already, which I don't really like. So I resorted to using this corner screen effect to sort of punch down my face. And on top of that, I also played with the magic mask to, so you can see that there's a top layer here and then there's a bottom layer here. So the top layer is using the alpha channel and only showing the mask. So I can go into the color page and show you if I isolate it and only select the top channel. So it's only my head. And then the bottom channel is the background. So. I'm just using the magic mask and tracing out my head. So you can see that there's the trace there. And it's a very rough trace. You don't have to be too accurate with it. So the way that I play with this is using the M How To Text 05, right? This is also something by Motion VFX. And this text comes in very nicely, as you can see. So it sort of fades in and then pops up which is something that you can do manually as well, but it's so much faster and so much easier if 
you have this template. Within the text template, you can also edit the title, which is, let's go to this one. So you can edit the title and you can change the typeface, the font, the color, the scale as well. So you can zoom in and many of the other settings as well. So the next effect that I'm going to show you is something that I use for my online course, which is a loading line and also the MTuber tree typography 05. So these are texts, all the texts here that you see is from motion VFX as well. And this loading line is very useful to tell your audience that there's a duration for this uh, particular intro so that you capture their attention. You will see a very drastic difference with the loading line and without. So if I remove it right now and let it load a little bit, this seems like it's taking very long. But with the loading line, everything seems like, okay, I know things are running. Psychologically, it doesn't feel as long as without. So this is something that you can use if you are running ads and you want to retain the viewer's attention. So moving on, this is also one of my favorite effects, which is the M tutorial focus. So the focus is basically zooming in to a particular area that you can predefine. So right now it's zooming into this line of words, this line of text. It's such a simple effect, but if you were to do it manually in a Fusion page, it's going to take up a lot of your time. So this is the M Tutorial Focus 12. And there are 11 more focus effects, I believe. So you can go through some of them and then try to find the one that fits your tutorial best. And the last effects or rather background that I want to introduce is this MTuber 4 display screen and MTuber 4 pixels. So these are background videos that you can play on and on. So let's say if you have something going on in your foreground, let's say an explanation like this, you can just drag these backgrounds on and on because it will keep going and going until you have finished your illustration, right? So Right here, I have the pixels, so you can just drag it on and on and on, and it will just keep sort of rotating from pixels to pixels. Or the one that is more colorful is this MTuber display screen. So there are colors that will just cycle through, and you can also adjust for the colors in the settings. So let's go to screen title turbulence, color controls. You can adjust for the colors. Let's say green, blue, red. So this is more of a blue. If I increase this, if I increase everything, it's going to be white, right? So you can play around with the colors and also play around with the turbulence speed. Let's say I want the turbulence to be very fast, then it will rotate very fast. And it's sort of random as well, which makes it very nice. So these are just some of my favorite effects from Motion VFX and they have tons of other effects that you can find on their website and it's so easy to download and so easy to use. On this channel, I try my best to only share things that I use myself. So if you're interested to check out Motion VFX, please use the link in my description below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.